Hi guys. So, um, I wish I could say I feel better today, but that would be a lie. Um, but I did want to say thank you because last I knew for the last couple weeks I've been at 19 uh, subscribers and then I realized last night uh, or really early this morning uh, there was 27 of you and then I saw this morning as I was leaving um, that there was 30 <laughs> so I wanted to say thank you guys uh, that means a lot <laughs> don't ask me why because I don't really know um, but anyways thank you um, I did I almost didn't want to make another video, but then I realized that um, there's been a few times that I say I'm going to do something and I don't, and I want to change that. Um, so I'm going to make a video anyways. Uh, originally, last night, there was a lot of different stuff on my mind that I wanted to go over and talk about um, and discuss and everything. But I didn't sleep the greatest last night. Um, I did text my boyfriend last night around midnight, if not a touch before that, stating that I was really tired, I was gonna go to bed. Uh, I didn't get much sleep the night prior. And I, like I said last night in my video, I was half asleep at his house, um, partially because of crying and little sleep. Um, so I did wanna get on here. Um, make another one anyways but so I didn't get a lot of sleep my mind kept kind of going and racing last night um, I ended up getting a little snack um, anyways and my dog because <laughs> he wants anything and everything even though some things he can't have um, so because I got a snack, he thought it was his time to eat too. So he followed me back to my bedroom. Um, and I had like goldfish, so it was nothing like crazy. So I did give him a few. Um, and then I was done, so I like rolled the bag up or like closed the bag and set it off to the side of my bed. And um, I was like, okay, I'm going to try and get some sleep. I got to be up early. And... So I went to lay down and I had moved uh, some of the stuff off my bed because like I said, I am in the middle of cleaning. So I had moved some of that stuff off and um, invited him up and he was so cute last night, um, which is another reason it makes it so hard. Um, also with it being lighter outside, you can tell the mess. <laughs> um, I re well, when I first bought the hair dye, I didn't realize it was semi-permanent. I didn't like reread it. I was like, go ahead, grab one, get out. Especially because my anxiety when it comes to going to the store. Um, it did stay pretty nice for a week. Um, and then I had recolored it because last, I want to say Thursday, yeah, it would have had to have been Thursday. Uh, Thursday, I was in the pool with my sister and um, nephew for quite some time. Um, and I realized when I had gotten out of the pool that the color was, it looked like this. Um, not fully understanding why. <laughs> I'm assuming it has something to do with the chlorine. Which, it's fine. I touched up my hair. Uh, curled it. Um, you know, whatever. And then, because I, I, I had a feeling that Cameron was going to be okay with going and taking pictures this last weekend. Um, because it was something him and I have been talking about. Because I still have yet to have a picture of us in the picture frame he bought me for my birthday almost two months ago now. Uh, even though that's still like a week and a half, two weeks away. Um, but pretty much two months now and I still don't have a picture frame of, or a picture of us in it 
and I wanted nicer recent ones um, so I had touched up my hair well then uh, what was it not okay so Monday uh, I had gotten the pool again with my sister and my nephew and the color started to fade again I'm not out of the hair dye there's still a touch left in that bottle but I don't know if there's enough to fix it so I think at this point I'm just gonna leave it try and get it to wash out we're gonna be back to blonde <laughs> until I can uh, get a job and get some money set aside and I'm gonna make an appointment and I'm gonna finish up with the um, red roots and um, silver ends idea that Cameron had, uh, gave me a couple months back because uh, when we first did the blonde that appointment was April 9th I want to say um, so that was a couple months ago with me quitting my job at the end of April for many reasons um, I wasn't able to do another session to get it silver and so it was just blonde um, that's another reason I told my mom I don't have to worry about bleaching my hair. I'm just going to leave the roots be. If the red covers it a little, it covers. If not, I'm mainly worried about the ends. I just wanted a tiny little fun change. It's been a minute. But um, last night, I did mention the X situation. So I am going to get into that for a second. Because uh, re-watching that video last night, I was like... Eh, maybe that wasn't like the greatest thing to say or bring up um, but I know that there's not necessarily been an update as far as that there was an update back in beginning of March end of February uh, or maybe like mid February to the end of February actually uh, I did make a video stating that I finally felt okay to move on that whole situation um, so I was like, okay, well, there, but there also, at the time, there wasn't a need for an update. I was in a good state of mind, very happy, didn't have to worry about it. I wasn't in contact with him. Um, I was living my life, finally moving on, being happy, when honestly, like I said at the time, didn't think I was going to be able to, for many reasons, which I'm pretty sure in some of the older videos, it explains why or that I explained why but again that's not something I want to get into because I'm not trying to dwell on the past that's a whole nother reason I said what I said last night as far as he can't affect me anymore another reason I said that and I say that now and I will continue to say if it ever gets brought up or anything like that uh, back in May when Dr. Strange came out uh, my boyfriend and I uh, well, I had gotten the tickets uh, like two weeks prior to the movie actually coming out. I had went ahead and purchased the tickets so I would have them so we could go watch them that, that Saturday. Well, that Friday, May 6th, and I remember it well, I also journaled a little bit about it because at the time I was really fucking like nervous and shit. Um, so, May 6th, I had had an interview and I had gotten ready I was like okay I'm going to leave go go to the bank real quick go put gas in my car then go to the interview I'll be back uh, then I'll grab my nephew and then we'll run to Walmart and then after that I can just kind of chill and wait for Cameron to come get me um, so I went to the bank and sure enough my ex is there. Now granted, uh, I met him on a dating app early, uh, like end of January, uh, 2020. He was two hours, a little over two hours away from me. That's where he lived. Um, that's also where I took him home last year, uh, March of 2021. I had taken him home last year and um so i knew he was there now granted in february of this year um 
he did get in touch before I had changed my phone number. Um, yeah, because I got my new phone and changed my phone number again in the beginning of March. So yeah, um, he, he did get in touch the day after I had met Cameron, which again, to me is fucking ironic because he has the worst fucking timing. So I got anxiety because I was like, what the fuck? Like, why are you texting me after I had the night I had? Um, he, he had mentioned wanting to move back down around me. Like, but not necessarily like around me, but like around my area because he said he liked it here. I said, okay, like I was confused as to why because I didn't want it to happen because the anxiety he used to cause me and shit. So I didn't, I didn't believe him either because as I've said many times before, he's a liar. It like, I didn't believe him. So sure enough, back in May, as I'm at the bank, oh, I hate this road. Uh, sure enough, I run into him and I had a full on fucking panic attack. And then I became paranoid driving around my own city, being with my sister didn't help, my mom didn't help. Uh, Cameron for a minute wasn't helping either just because I was paranoid because it was like, what kind of situation am I or we, whoever I was with was gonna be in. Um, so I was just really paranoid, but I hadn't seen or heard from him at all. So I was like, okay, leave it at that. It is what it is, whatever. And then sure enough, I get back to donating plasma for a little bit. Cause I could have, I could and have been using the little bit of extra money, uh, to put gas in my car. Cause I drive to Cameron sometimes throughout the week. Um, pay some of my bills, shit like that. Well, sure enough, uh, towards the beginning of this month, um, I think it was like on the 7th, uh, I was sitting there waiting. I wasn't there as early as I wanted to be. I had slept in a little bit. So I got there a little later and sure enough, he's there. He's working there. I was like, oh, fucking course had a full on anxiety attack. And after that, I was like, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't have let it affect me because for so many reasons, I'm not gonna let it affect me. I'm happy, I, I'm not in the relationship anymore. He can't really affect me. So maybe I should just let it go. And then ironically, that following Tuesday, he's there again. Um. That was quick and over with, though. He was at the front of the line. I was towards the back of the line. Ironically, I got sat next to him, but that lasted all but 10 minutes, and then he left. And then um, I knew Thursday I wasn't going to see him because he told me he goes Tuesdays and Fridays. So Thursday I wasn't going to see him. And I was like, you know what? If he happens to be working, and I do, I'm going to... I'm going to be fine because I'm tired of feeling that way because clearly he's going to be here. He's already been here for months at, the, at this point. So I was like, I've, you know, I'm happy now. There's no point. Now, yes, I have trauma. I, I struggle with some of the traumatic things from him with Cameron, but like, not like that. I know that doesn't really make sense and I don't know how to explain it. So we're just going to kind of leave it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that, that's why I said what I said last night, because I have decided I'm no longer going to let that kind of shit affect me. I'm not in that situation anymore. I haven't been in a while. I don't plan on, like if something happens between Cameron and I, I don't ever plan on going back to him or in that situation. And I pray on everything. Nothing happens when it comes to Cameron and I, because God, do I fucking love this man. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there, there's that. Um, I don't really, fam, family-wise or household-wise, 
it's getting very stressful. I'm getting very irritated. I want to move out <laughs> for so many reasons. I'm not going to get into it just in case of anything. Um, I've had struggles with my mom in the past and my grandma in the past and occasionally now um, my dad is on and off. I know he's sick. He has his bad days. But typically when he has his bad days, everybody's in a bad mood. Um, so that's just that. Um, and again, like I said last night, Monday night there was a argument going around and I wasn't home. I uh, didn't really want to go home after I found out. Um, even though at that point it was only 6.30, so I still had three and a half hours before I even left Cameron's, but I still didn't want to go home. So I just kind of went for a little drive, clear my head, whatever, but, um, as far as road trips, we have been discussing a few different places. Um, on where we would go, want to go, um, things like that. Roughly when, but it's kind of a struggle to figure that out right now. Uh, my sister and I are wanting to move out. Cameron and I have talked about moving out a lot. Uh, because we want our own place. Many reasons. I'm not going to get into those reasons, but for many reasons. Um, so... We just kind of are trying to figure that out too. I would like to be in my own place at the beginning of next year, if not at the very latest August, September of next year. Um, so it, it, that's another reason at this point I'm saying I don't give a fuck what the shift is as long as it's Monday through Friday at this point because I don't want to work weekends for multiple reasons, partially because I stay the night at camp, or I spend the weekend with Cameron. Um, but, so there's that. Um, luckily, which I can't remember if I mentioned this or not, I did have an interview on the second, what is next Tuesday? Um, I got an email this morning stating that there were some cancellations and that um, they had something sooner. So, you know, if you want, you can reschedule for something sooner. So I rescheduled for this Friday. So high hopes. I hope it goes well because it's not a far drive. Um, I mean, it's a decent drive. But again, I don't know like the address address, so it's kind of hard to tell. But to the city itself, it's a good 20, 25 minutes, which is no different than the drive that I took for my last job. Um, the only difference is I would be mainly on back roads and not the highway. But I tend to take highway or back roads anyways, so it's not like that matters a shit ton to me anyways. Um... trying to think of what else um fuck I just had it oh that's what it was um I do have to try and hurry to get home because I do have a doctor's appointment here within like the next half hour. I honestly don't even fucking know what time it is. Um, so hopefully I'm going to figure out what's going on as far as the back pain. See if there's anything she can help me with that. Um, because that's another reason I'm struggling to even get a job. I would go do warehouse work, but because of back pain, I can't. Uh, I actually like that anyways because I don't really have to talk to a lot of people. Um, so that's unfortunate <laughs> that I can't. Um, but I also, 
my mom and I have been talking about wanting to confirm with my doctor um, if I for a hundred percent have PCOS now I don't know like the full actual term it's easy to look up now yeah there's multiple different types of there's like three or four that I know for sure that I've seen when I've googled to figure out just so I could learn more about it because they've stated that I've had it since like 2016 2017 um, a lot of the times it doesn't just develop though you are born with it but we didn't find out until 2016 2017 so it's been a while um, and we just want to confirm that that's the issue uh, because it was causing me major problems uh, a couple months ago like mid-April and then I was still having some issues um, and now it's just occasional I mean it's rare but I realized a lot of the times it does get a lot worse when I am stressed out or like feeling sick to my stomach because I'm afraid um, because I noticed there was a couple times back in April and May uh, leaving Cameron's house when shit was kind of really bad there for a minute um, that I was fine being at his house but the minute he would go to bring me home or I would go to go home I got really bad stomach pain like I had to bend over and or like squat kind of to regain myself I was in that much pain um, they did do an ultrasound and then something else uh, pelvic exam they've done a lot of different things I've been to an OBGYN they can't find anything wrong um, I told them I was like I know I'm not pregnant <laughs> so that's not the issue because um, I was still like getting my periods and on top of that with PCOS um, getting pregnant is really 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 hard not that I'm trying I don't mean it like that um, but you it's a very low chance of getting pregnant but when you do it's actually a very 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 high chance of a miscarriage um, which that's something I actually looked at yesterday I had googled into things like that um, and it's so typically for normal people that or normal girls women uh, that don't have PCOS a chance of a miscarriage especially early pregnancy uh, is 10 to 15 percent chance now those with PCOS including myself is actually th three times higher than that original percentage I tried to do the math last night couldn't do it also didn't really feel like doing it so I just kind of said fuck it um, it's not like it matters matters but like if it is PCOS when I go to this appointment and she confirms that I want to know everything that I possibly can my chances for when I'm ready to try and I'm ready for that all that kind of stuff so I was just kind of looking into a few different things because I knew I had this appointment today um, yeah honestly I think that might be all for the moment if I think of anything I'll make another video but I've also wanted to uh, get some shit done around my house or my room at least um, mow the yard get some shit done um, I have thought about making another video as far as um, I, I don't know I've got like a companion book that I bought a couple months back, back in March, uh, for Lost Companions, um, considering the topic from last night, uh, so I might get into that a little, I do want to continue reading that I Was Never Broken book, that's something I've been talking about for a hot minute, and I haven't done in a while, and re-going through, um, some of my videos and stuff last night, replying to s some comments and stuff, um, that was something that some of you really loved and don't have access to. Um, I feel like I remember that being a comment when that video was posted or shortly after that video was posted. Um, so I do want to get a little bit more into that book. 
uh, for those of you who need it, don't have access to it, can't seem to buy it. Um, so yeah, I do want to get into that as well. Um, I just have to figure out timing of everything. So hopefully I'll be able to do uh, some of that this week or sometime the rest of this week. Uh, if not, I might possibly be able to get to it this weekend, um, cause he did text me earlier today stating that he was feeling, he feels like he's getting sick. Um, I don't know fully what the plans are as far as if anything has changed with me staying the night or like staying for the weekend, stuff like that. I don't know if any of that has changed yet, um. So if I don't, and that plan changes, I will have time to get to it this weekend at some point. Um, if not, then I'll try and get to it before Friday. Um, but also depending, oh, excuse me, sorry. Depending on, um, shit. Oh, that's what it was. D depending on how the interview goes Friday and all that kind of stuff, I should be able to get to some of it next week also. So, um, yeah. Honestly, I think that's all. Um, I am almost home. I've got to get ready for my doctor's appointment. So, I will keep you all updated. Hopefully, I will see you all soon. Um, that's all I, I can think of at the moment. Um, so yeah, thanks for listening. Bye.